What's up guys, it's Matt from Three Pound Fishing and we're back. And we are in the dog days of summer and I just got done writing an article for a local magazine here called Living on uh, my home lake. And I'll tell you what, it's fantastic. That article won't come out till probably uh, early September and this video will be coming out before then. But we're gonna talk about that finicky summer bite and some of the things that we can do to help it. And uh, I went through that with the entire article and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go out there and make a video real quick with the same topic. And uh, it gets it gets tough. The fish get smaller sometimes uh, and you get fewer fish in the boat. But I'm gonna walk you through some of the things that I'm always doing when I'm out here on guide trips to try to turn the tide in our favor, so to speak. So thanks for watching, I appreciate you. Here we go. Now one of the first things I'm always gonna do when you got a finicky bite is add some bait pop. Fishing formula, bait pop, I don't care which one you choose. At the end of the day, it gets the original fish formula down there and loading up is critical to help in this finicky bite during this time frame. Excellent, excellent presentation and it stays with the bait longer with that bait pop. Now we've got currently got a water temperature right here sitting at 83 degrees, guys. And uh, you know, it's gonna continue to get even warmer. And when you hit these water temperatures, these fish are gonna become extremely lethargic, slow moving. And what I found is that you know, obviously changing your baits up, but it's all about presentation. It's all about slowing it up and giving them the opportunity to catch your bait. Um, if you're coming by them too fast, then they just simply don't have the energy or the, the willingness to chase it. So I work extra hard at piles during this time frame. I stay on them longer especially when I see good fish down there. All right. So small eater, which is kind of what we've been experiencing. But I'll tell you what, it got the it got the fish to bite, and of course, more fish in the boat is the better. And it's a constant, constant, repetitive. <laughs> right now, I'm lightly casting into them, small little cast, but eventually I'll get up there and vertical jig and really slow down the presentation. The other thing, of course, is changing up baits. That's a no-brainer, but I'm changing baits up left and right, trying to figure out if there's something that will trigger these fish to bite. Now, size does matter for sure. I think that smaller is better. I'm not going with anything bigger than an inch and a half in terms of bait size. And a lot of those, of course, are my baits that I have on 3poundfishing.com. But presentation, really slow. Now I'm all the way up on these fish and I'm just seeing if I can get one that's to come up and barely touch it. Now I'm really paying attention to my weight because a lot of these fish will just barely put it in their mouth. And sometimes you can only detect that bite with uh, feel with the braid, but also detecting it with the weight. Well, I don't know if we got that last bite or not, but anyway, Obviously, changing up baits is a massive deal. I, I go through a lot of the brush pile jigs because they have such a large assortment of them. Just dinky little stuff, different colors. So I appreciate them. Then of course, I go through my own paddle tails and everything I have at 3poundfishing.com. Braid is a big deal. This is a light bite. Crazy summer hot weather. You want braid because you want to be able to feel it. And I always talk about it. I mean, you know, on the guide trips, I'm like, if we're gonna vertical jig, I want your finger on the braid. It's a big deal because you're gonna feel it on your fingers. It's so light, they literally will just put it in their mouth. It's not a thump here. It's a black crappie, it's a really light tick. And in most cases, they will just put it in their mouth just enough where you can feel it on that braid. So check out the sniping braid. And then of course, the Hammer 10, I built, I built this sucker for the light bite. 
Um, you can feel everything on that sucker. So we're just gonna keep cycling through these baits and I love, so, and then of course, let's not forget, I mentioned it before, the bait pop. I've been filling it up, but this is what I was using right there. We're gonna try this guy right here. It's a crazy red. I'll put some crappy formulation on it real quick. This is my go-to. Sucker is almost empty. It's down to the bottom of the barrel. But I'll just soak that in the crappie formulation. Go to baitpop.com for that. It's very inexpensive. It's great to have in your boat. I've got multiple bottles in my boat because I believe in it so much. And all I do is sprinkle that on there and there we go man is that such a light bite crazy light bite but they hit that bait. And so we might actually go to a, a hair jig as well, just to see if size is truly it. Um, it's always a combination of size, presentation, you know, one of those two usually can spark it off, but also just persistency, I always, talk about that you know just never stopping on a pile and keep going you just have to try that much harder on these piles this time of year um, otherwise you'll get maybe one fish and then you're, you're done um, but there's one right there really light bite small guy though. All right, so we're gonna move and try something different. All right guys, well that hat, there you go. It's, you know, it's a tough bite this summer. There's no doubt about it. It's gonna slow up. You're gonna have some smaller fish, but there's a lot of little things you can do. Again, changing bait size, Presentation is just about everything in my personal opinion. Slowing it down, pitching, vertical dropping, those type of techniques are gonna rain over the casting through. But probably even most importantly, number three is don't give up on a pile. Stay on that pile, stay on that pile, stay on that pile. Because I'm telling you that one fish that keeps looking at it, keeps looking at it, eventually gives in and they take after it. So, although I like the strategy, move, move, move. In the summer, what I've found is if you just stay on a pile a little bit longer, you're gonna get the fish that you need and then you can move. So have a great one guys, stay cool.